Hi, I'm Kitty Deering, and I'm a professor of psychology here at Clayton State. I've been here for 25 years, 25 wonderful years. I came and I never wanted to leave and I've never wanted to be anywhere else. I've had the kind of flexibility and support to move my career along, and that's the kind of thing that you get at a small university. But actually, I guess Clayton State is not a small university. We have about 7,000 students, but it feels like a small university because there is a real concern for the growth and the development of each person. It feels like a very caring community. Well, I love everything about teaching. Um, it's a very energizing process to interact with students in the classroom. Um, the students are very open to learning about psychology. I think people are naturally interested in psychology. And um, we are so fortunate here at Clayton State to have a really diverse student population and a non-traditional student population. And so that makes the classroom even more exciting because we have people from different age groups and we have people from different work settings that are in the classroom. I'm working on three different articles right now. I'm uh, rewriting a textbook chapter for a new um, psychiatric nursing textbook that's going to be updated next year. And then I'm also working on an article for a journal that's on um, doing group supervision and the um, benefits of working with students in groups so that they can learn from each other. And then I'm also working on updating an instructor's manual for a health psychology textbook. So I always have several different writing projects going on and I love to write and I think it's really important to continue to stay in the literature and read the most recent research so that we can all stay sharp and we can give the best we can to our students. One thing about me that people may not know is that I'm a huge animal lover and my father was a veterinarian and our house was a little bit of like Dr. Doolittle's house. So we had a blind dog and we had a monkey, we had a skunk that scent was, scent was removed, we had a minor bird that would not stop talking and spoke three languages. We had a variety of very unusual pets in our house. 